He was crippled, but only his body was cracked. It's not simple, nor is it an easy matter to explain. Let's just leave it at that, she says, and closes the holy book of lies. She covers her eyes, denying to herself what she thought happened. 13 is about a really troubled girl who is really sad and looking to find herself. A girl who goes from being kind of a good girl to being a bad girl almost overnight. It's kind of a glimpse of what everybody kind of goes through it as a teenager. <laughs> nice socks. <laughs> <laughs> Let her out of the cabbage patch. It's not about what actually happened. It's about what's going on underneath that. I need new clothes. How come? Because I look stupid, hello? No matter how close you are to someone, they're still a stranger to you and you to them. When you first meet Tracy, everything she is in the end of the film is what she keeps bottled up inside in the beginning. So in the beginning, she appears to be more of a content young girl with pigtails. She's an overachiever in her grades, and she wants you know everything to be perfect. But she has this nice relationship with her mom, and she's still kind of a kid. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me fix this before somebody gives you the witch you found out. Thank you. <laughs> First day of seventh grade, she sees these kind of goddesses of the school with like belly rings and tongue rings, and all the guys love them, and they just seem to have so much power and be popular. <laughs> Tracy sees that in Evie, that Evie is like cool, knows how to talk to guys, got a look, got crazy ideas, mischievous, bad, you know, sexy, funny, and she wants to be that. <laughs> So she befriends Evie and just kind of follows her lead and will just do whatever to be accepted and just gets involved in drugs and sex and just everything you pray to God your kids never do, she does. Because oh. I totally just stole this. <laughs> Let's go shopping. Hell yeah! <laughs> There's a real heartbeat to the movie, kind of reckless, fast-beating energy that was in the script that's on the screen. What's that on your shirt? On your business. What is that? Don't worry about it. Let me, let me see that. No! Mom! What is it with you and poking me? She's angry, and she's mean, and she's mean to everybody around her. It's a belly button ring! How else can I say it? I don't speak no other languages. Oh, and you want to know what that is? Evan Rachel Woods, she's a very talented young woman. She has tremendous access to herself. I'm lying. It's a very difficult part. Mom, don't touch me! Don't touch my hair! She's out of control. Have you had anything to eat today? Mom, stop with the food thing already! She just, just put her heart and soul into it like every minute and she felt it and she lived it and she was that character. It was kind of a challenge to have to do things that I never do and that I'm really against and just put myself in that situation. The first night I met Nikki, yeah, we did kind of click right away. I had never met a girl before that I could really just kind of tell anything to. But then I want to get something else on my lower back. But not a butterfly. Not a butterfly, it's not original at all. Everything is difficult because it's so personal. But when I see Tracy or when I see Evan playing Tracy, I don't see myself because the written Tracy is much different than the Tracy on screen. No bra, no panties. Stop it. This is the most incredible thing for Holly to want to do the film. And then her performance in the film is unbelievable. Open this door now. What, mother, what do you want? This is not how I raised you. I want you to be civil to me. Catherine and Nikki conceived this, this movie, but at the end of the day, Catherine was doing her movie, and she totally allowed all of us to do our work. Okay, shall we go? Nikki has incredible energy, which is what we tried to get into the script, you know, like feel that energy, what it is to be 13, where you're just like super high one minute, and the next minute you want to kill somebody. Mom, <laughs> his clothes should not be here. You promised Mason and you promised me. It's definitely realistic what happened to Nikki herself, similar, very similar things happened to her, transformation she went through, and a lot of other girls that I've met and talked to. There are so many girls out there that are 13 and look like they're 18, so they're doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Hey, boys. The subject hasn't really been tackled quite like this, especially with these like young kids. It can really open your eyes to so many different things. Oh, Mom, you knew what was going on. I didn't know it was that far. 
It's a very, very tumultuous, uh, violent uh, awakening that I think also brings them closer to a knowledge of each other. And I think that these two characters, the mother and the daughter, really do fight to get to each other. more than anything in the world. And I'll die for you, but I won't leave your mom right now. I hope the parents will take their teenagers to see this, because it's not like we're making it look like we're having like such a great time. You really see this girl just hit rock bottom, and you just know exactly what could happen. Yeah.